Hello everybody, it's Karen from Body Candy. On this episode of The Tea, we'll be talking about forward-facing nostrils and other uncommon nose piercings. Before we get into this, remember to like, comment and subscribe to Body Candy to see a lot more of these videos. And let's go, this is a really exciting video, I love this topic so much. First off, the forward-facing nostrils. So this actually includes two different piercings. There is also a different variation called the Mantis piercing, but I'll touch on that shortly. Both give you the same look and the jewelry ends up on the tip of your nose. Forward-facing nostrils with two separate piercings and go straight back from the same location where a mantis piercing is done with a surface bar. That piece of jewellery is shaped kind of like a staple. So let me tell you more about mantis piercings. The bar portion is pierced under the skin while the ends sit directly on the face. These piercings are incredibly, incredibly, incredibly anatomy dependent as well. They require a big bit of cartilage, a really pronounced bump at the end of your nose. So that there's actually room for the jewellery there, which also obviously reduces the risk of rejection. But smaller nose might not be able to go for this piercing, however, you may still have space for two separate libraries. The healing time for these piercings is extensive, owing to the amount of cartilage tissue that is actually being pierced there. These are not for the faint-hearted at all. Since these seem to be a relatively new piercing, piercers with experience in these piercings may be quite hard to come by, but when pierced correctly, you know that is going to be the topic of conversation forever. <laughs> they are insane, and I love them. So if your anatomy isn't the best for those two types of piercings, let me put you onto the high nostril piercing. This is one that I would love on both sides. Until I got my nostril pierced recently and I remembered how bad the pain was, oh my goodness me, and these are supposed to be a bit worse too, but that is not linear for everyone. Everyone's pain tolerance is different, but these are known to be quite a painful piercing still. So obviously the high nostril clues in the name, it's just another piercing up here. These can have some serious drama if you already have these nose piercings too. You can even add a chain over the top, which I think looks insane. I love them. But some people also stretch these piercings. There's no way for you to add some forward facing drama to your nose. Remember that new piercings and new styles come around on a pretty regular basis. Do not lose hope yet. Keep your eyes open and your piercers number at the ready. I will see you on the next episode of the tea. Bye bye.